Hey guys, it's me. So today I'll be doing a collective haul. Um, I was hesitating. I was yeah, I was hesitant to do this video because um, excuse me, some of the stuff that you see before you, I have read. I already used especially the brushes so anyways um, I already posted them on Instagram and on Twitter so if you guys are not following me on Instagram or Twitter please do because I have like a lot of crazy pictures in there um, not embarrassing pictures but it's just like you know if you guys are interested um, what crap I got either a Walmart at the mall or Mac I post them online so yeah um, anyways um, I don't want this to be a long one so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this thing started okay so the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is I did buy um, the Neutrogena makeup remover you might see this on my May favorites I don't know I'm debating whether or not I should do one since no one is home I'm by myself so might as well do all these crazy videos right so um, anyways I got the Neutrogena makeup remover because I love this makeup remover is the only makeup remover that remover that really removes all your makeup uh, what I mean is that um I have a lot of waterproof mascaras and I've tried using Mac I've tried using well I don't know if L'Oreal no um Garnier Fruities I haven't tried Simple yet but I feel like this is the only one that can really 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 take um waterproof mascaras because the rest don't they still leave like some mascara residues on your eyelid like eyelashes and that really annoys me because when I wash my face I would have like circles underneath my eyes and I, I look like I just got punched in my face or something so um I got this one again I got this at Walmart I got the two pack I paid eight dollars for it um it was on sale it was on clearance i don't even know how much they're selling this but it was on sale on walmart so please check your local walmart to see if they have this on sale if they have them there uh next um what did i go oh i went to target um if you guys check out my instagram uh well i did go to target and i bought three things um the first thing that i got wear bathing suits um nothing special i got the large one because you guys know i have big boobs um i paid five dollars and 98 cents for this uh it's just it just looks like this it's just um you know <laughs> i was gonna get the purple one it was extra large but i got the large instead but it's okay um i like it it's like it has the sequins and it's bright pink, but I don't know what bottom to use this, so I think I'm gonna go to Walmart. Or no, I still have my um my surfer shorts, so I'll just go ahead and wear that one because I love my sur my surfer shorts. So this is what I got at Target, along with um I opened it because I wanted to try it. The Elf lip stain, it's new. Uh, it's two dollars and it does stain your lips like I thought it wasn't gonna work but it does it's a um like that's like that color right there you really can't see it because my my hands is really oily right now I've been like sorry I've been you know using oils as a lotion but I just get this I really like it it just late it just stained my lips like you know like it should be like I don't know how to describe it, but I've tried it and I really like it. It's only two dollars. Um, I haven't tried the um, Revlon Just Bitten. I think it's by Revlon. I'm not sure, but whatever. I haven't tried that one yet. I know a lot of people are raving about it. It's really, really good. It stays on your lips. Um, this one stays on your lips for like a couple of hours, maybe like three. Um, but I still like it. It's two dollars. Uh, you know, I just, I just go like, oh, I'm gonna try it, and it's really good for two bucks and then and also Target um, they put this L'Oreal thing on sale for $3.49 there's a clearance tag and I got the cream puffs um, what's her name Sam Sherman was doing the swatches and I kind of like the color of this light um, light yellow 
it's a very summery color if you guys are interested on like what this collection was i believe it's the versailles collection look how pretty those colors are um i got cream puffs i got the life in palace and i got lacy lilac and i got pistachio dream so out of what five or six i think there's five of them i got four i didn't get the um the baby blue color i don't know why because i was like Oof. but yeah oh you guys can't even see this um so yeah that's the colors right there wow um my lighting is really bad for you guys so it's just like a pastel colors you know it's like light yellow um baby pinkish or here's the yellow <laughs> sorry um like blue or green and lavender sorry if you guys can't see it um yeah it's just like mint green sort of but i'm sorry you guys if you guys can't see it my B. Um, but yeah, I got that one at Target. Next, um, I went to Walmart because I am doing an, ex an exchange. Um, um, I'm doing a swap with this girl here on YouTube. I will put her YouTube um, link down below or in the description box. But I haven't sent her stuff. Um, I haven't sent in her stuff just yet. Um, I don't want to show you because I don't know if she does check out my YouTube channel. Um, I wanted a surprise, so I want her to be surprised when she opens it. But anyways, I did go to Walmart, and, um, I got a couple of things. What did I get? I'm trying to remember what I got. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got, like, a crap ton of stuff at Walmart. Okay, so the first thing I got at Walmart, well, besides Nutrigena, I actually went to two different Walmarts. Um, the Neutrogena one I got near my house, and the stuff that I'm showing you now, I have to drive, like, 15 minutes. So, the first thing that I got is the Nivea, um, lip butter. Everybody's raving about this, and it's really good. I love it. It moisturizes my dry lips, and it smells really good. It's raspberry. I think it comes, like, in three different flavors. One was, like, creme brulee or something. But I decided to get the raspberry one. It smells really good. It smells really nice. And it's pink, and if you guys see, like, tannish color in there, like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I used my fingers to do my makeup, and I wiped it, and I guess I didn't wipe it good enough that it kind of stained this little bad boy, but it's okay. Um, I like it. It smells like raspberry, and it just makes my lips really, really smooth. Um, my boyfriend hijacked my... Um, EOS, so I am using this now, and he is not touching this because if he touches it, he's not, he's not, never gonna wanna, you know, return it. So, yeah, so I really like this one, and uh, I just love it. it. I believe it's like $3 at Walmart. I mean, it's really inexpensive, and it's probably gonna take me a while to finish this. Uh, next, I went and got another mascara. I'm a mascara whore right now. I don't know why. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six backups of mascara, so I think I'm pretty like set for the next like next years or so. Or I think I'm set for this whole entire year. I don't know because I do change my mascara every three months. So it says three to six months, but I do like three months but anyways I got nothing special I got the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Voluminous Voluminous um, Original Original and it's waterproof and it's 360 360 in black because they have apparently they come like in brown and then like brown black and then black and then intense black I don't know but um yeah I got the Voluminous one and I paid five dollars for this so um, I've tried this one before and I didn't like it, so I'm gonna give this another go to see if, like, if the one that I got was, like, a really bad batch, but I'm gonna give this one another shot 
to see if I like it or not. So I'm pretty excited to try this one again. And then, of course, I went nail polish crazy, you guys, because I just cleaned out my nail polish rack or my nail polish bin. I don't even know if you can see it because my chair is, yeah, you really can't see it. But I'll probably be doing a mascara, um, not mascara, why am I saying mascara, nail polish. Did I say um, mascara bin? Uh, my nail polish bin, I'm sorry. Like, I've been, I'm so tired right now. Um, but, yeah, um, that's not an excuse, right? But, yeah, my nail polish rack is, like, back there. You can't even see it. But I probably, like I said, will be doing a um, nail polish collective haulish. And, like I said, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will see that I got a little crazy on my nail polish because I did take a picture and everybody was like like so I was like yay they like my my photo so yeah um yeah I'm I'm gonna be that like there's this new TV series called what is this called like whoa I like I don't know hold on I'm getting sidetracked this is gonna be a sidetrack uh this is called Pretty Wicked Moms. These moms are putting on makeup while taking care of their kids. And that's probably going to be me because I don't want to be seen in public with no makeup on. I don't know. But anyways, um, that's just me. <laughs> no, that's definitely not going to be me. Like, I probably look like a maid when I have kids whenever I decide when. Whenever I decide I want to have kids. But anyways, back to my um, nail polish. Yeah, I went a little nail polish crazy. Um, because the person that I'm swapping, I did buy her nail polish too. Um, so I'm not going to show you what nail polish, what color it is. Because, like I said, I don't know if she's going to be watching this. But anyways, um, I got this one. I've been wearing this since last week. I believe on the 26th. Um, I got it on the 25th. I'm not sure. I'm looking at my calendar. Um, I specifically got it for Memorial Day weekend. I don't know because my, um, my boyfriend's friend's um, ex-girlfriend told us to wear orange. So we wore orange and I specifically got it for that. <laughs> but this is called Orange You Jealous. Um, you guys have seen me wear this. It's like a very like I don't want to say sherbet orange. It's ah oh, man tragic, but um it's like a I don't want to say burnt orange. It's like a tangerine orange. Um, I don't want to say tangerine orange because I feel like tangerines are way darker than this color. But it's just like a regular orange toned down a bit. It's not like an intense orange. It was, that's the orange that I was using on my empties video, just in case you guys were wondering. And then I decided to buy ice. It's called ice. And it's $1.93. And you can't even see the label. Yeah, it's called pure ice. And they sell this at Walmart. And it's um, never satisfied. And... <laughs> 10.15. 10, 10.15 10, never satisfied. So this is what it looks like. I don't have anything like this. So I think I'm going to be doing my nails tonight. So I'm going to be doing two videos. I decided to do May favorites. So I know it's already June. It's like June 2nd already. So whatever. <laughs> um, I'm late because all my stuff because I've been working y'all. But I just said y'all again. But yeah. This is what it looks like. So, yeah, yeah. Um. Anyways, um, we're not going to be watching that. <laughs> I just changed the channel. I'm sorry, you guys, if I'm talking to myself. Well, I am basically talking to myself. But anyways, um, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I did get a um, Lash Blast Mascara. Um, I like the orange one. Um, I haven't tried the pink or the purple one. Um, hopefully it's the same thing as the orange one because I really like the orange one a lot. Um, 
I I decided to go back to using Lash Blast because I don't know I'm like I said I'm in a mascara craze right now, so I decided to use this again. So I got another Lash Blast. Was scary. Next, um, like I said, if you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I did post this along with my Biggie Secret. This is my um, Mac. I threw away the box because I was like, ugh, I'm not going to do collective haul because it's so dumb. Might as well post them online. So I posted pictures online and this is what I got. It's called Expensive Pink and this is what I have on right now, which you really cannot see. Ooh, hello. It's called Expensive Pink. It's that color right there. Um, I want to say it's a mixture of uh, pink and like a very coppery color. So that's what it looks like. It's called Expensive Pink. And that's what I have on right now, which you really guys cannot see. It looks like I don't have shit on my eyelids right now. On my eyes, that's what I meant. But I'm wearing it right now. It's like a very sheer pink with mix of copper colors and I really really do love it um it kind of reminds me of rose but rose is more like a um like pink look pink with gold like it changes colors it's like one of those color changing must like eyeshadows or pigments excuse me but it just you know change colors it's like this one has pink and gold, like you really can't tell. But this one has like a pink, like a little bit of pink with copper colors. Like it's a coppery with pink in it. So there. And it's called Expensive Pink and I was so excited to get this. So I'm like, oh man, I, I have to try it on today. So I did. And I really like the look. And then um, I went to Victoria's Secret. Because, you know, I bought this person stuff from Vicky Secret 2 and yeah, um, hopefully she likes them. But I did get the Victoria's Secret in Paradise, their collection, and I got it in Rivera Romance. Um, this is the only one left, so I was like, I wasn't gonna like, oh, I'm gonna get you next time. This was the only one left, like, I've learned my lesson. If I really like something, I have to get it now. Because I'm never going to see it again. So this is what the packaging looks like. I decided not to throw it away because I love the packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging, you guys. Like, if you have the prettiest colors, like, usually Victoria's Secret shows you what the color that you're looking at. And plus, like, the packaging. Oh, man, if the packaging is cute and if the product, like, if this thing looks really sucky, I'll still buy it because I'm a sucker for packaging. Um, but anyways, uh, this is what it looks like. It just kind of reminds me of that Wild Thing collection they're going on. Um, they had, like, back in the day, I believe it was, like, 2009, 10? Um, yeah, the Wild Thing, um, the Wild Thing collection that they have. Like, the packaging just kind of reminds me of that. Um, but yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. And this is an eyeshadow. You actually, you actually think I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow? No. I will be using this as a highlight on my face because I love some highlights. Is it that or a blush? Like, why, why would I use this when I have, like, exactly why would I use this as a highlight when I have, when there's, like, crazy colors in there? It's okay. Um, you really can't see it. It's not that noticeable. Like, it is noticeable, but it's not that noticeable. So, I believe, like, I guess it can just fly like like you know it could pass for um a highlight but it's called again this is called Rivera Romance um and it's it's in their um VS in Paradise collection and I think I wanna go back and get the goddess um the goddess I I believe it's the um bronzing powder but I have a lot of bronzers that I haven't even used yet so I think I'm good for now but I'm so excited to get this one. This is the only one that I really wanted from that collection. Because it's so pretty. And I just love the packaging. And oh my god. I just love it. I don't even know. Oh, I paid $15 for this. 
yeah, um, I paid $15 for it, but it's okay. Um, uh, Victoria's Secret has stepped up their game on the makeup um, collection because um, before their makeup, their makeup weren't that pigmented. And um, now their makeups are getting, you know, very pigmented and I like the colors that they have. So Victoria's Secret, you're doing a hell of a job right now. So Victoria's Secret, I got that one. Not going to use it as an eyeshadow. We'll probably use it as a highlight. And then one another, I think I got this one at Giants. Um, I finally caved in and got my Revlon in... What is this? Number two in lil in crystal lilac. It's just like a pink with. It's like a very pink. It's not a very pink. It's like a off pink with uh, magenta gold shimmers in them. So I was so excited. Like you guys, I've been going crazy on um drugstore lippies so here are my lovelies like you know i'm still collecting them so but i'm still gonna use them so don't worry so oh, i was so excited when i got that one i don't know just stupid shit just makes me happy um lastly i'm gonna show you guys are my my real technique brushes i'm telling you i went crazy on this one you guys like you have no idea um this one I got this at Bad Bath & Beyond, and it comes, you know, in a set. So, um, I really didn't care. Like, it was, like, seven, seven like $18, and, of course, I have the 20% off, so that made it even more cheaper. You do the math, because I don't feel like doing the math right now. So, I did get the face one. Um, they're the orange colors. And as you can tell, I already used this too, and I love it. I love I love the fact that it's it keeps its shape. Um, it just blends easily, and it's really soft, and it's not irritating on my skin, and it's really affordable. And I just love this, and it comes with a traveling case also. Since I am going to Houston in two weeks, so I haven't even bought my ticket yet. But anyways, um, I got this brushes. I was so excited. I think I'm going to get more because um, there's like another set that I want and one more brush that I want. But yeah, so this is my Real Techniques brushes that I love to get. And then I decided to get the um, stippling brush. It's the regular stippling brush. And I love it. It's perfect. I use it to do my... Um, my highlight i used it for my um uh, this has already been discontinued my uh mousse bronzer by maybelline um yeah so i use the i use this with this since it has a um you know it has a um, small opening and i really can't get you know when i use my big brushes i really can't get to the product but this one is just perfect and i just love it oh man i'm crazy about these brushes and then, of course, I bought the eye set. I've used all of them already. As you can tell, it's dirty. Um, I got, oh, sorry, I didn't tell you what these were. Um, this one is called, this brush right here is called Contouring Brush. Yeah, no, this is not a contour brush. I use this as a highlight. This is called a buffering buffering brush. I use this as a buffering brush and sometimes as a highlight also. Um, this one is the pointed foundation brush. I have no idea what to use this one, but I'll think of something um, besides as a foundation brush. I'll probably do, I don't know, like for my eyelids, whatever. Um, and this one is supposed to be a detector brush. Oh, not detector, sorry, detailer brush. So that's, that's what that looks like. And of course, you guys know the stippling brush. And then for the eyes, I have the base shadow brush. Yeah, I use this as a crease brush. Um, this one is what is this? Uh, pick pixel point eyeliner brush. I think I, yeah, I think I use this underneath my eyes for like right here. Um, angle brush. 
I think this is the brow brush. I probably use this as a um, eyeliner brush or brow brush. I don't know. And this bad boy right here is called Deluxe Crease Brush. I use it to blend in my um, eyeshadows. So that's what that looks like. And then, of course, my most use it's like really tiny it's an accent brush so that's what that looks like so yeah guys um those are the things that i got this is like gonna be a crazy collective haul because like i said most of the stuff that you see before you already used because i wasn't planning on doing this but anyways, I really do hope you guys like this video. Like if you like this video or leave a comment down below if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. As always, um, don't, um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm still doing the giveaway. Um, once I reach, I've decided to once I reach either a hundred subscribers or a thousand subscribers by the end of the year so like I said please don't forget to subscribe and I hope you guys have a nice day and happy Sunday because it is Sunday no it's not Sunday yet because it is still 11 30 so I hope you guys um had a wonderful weekend wonderful week and weekend and I'll see you guys soon bye